Why doesn't a deer spot a bright orange tiger from a mile away? Simple, because deer are basically colorblind potatoes with legs. Most prey animals, like deer and boar, have dichromatic vision, meaning their world looks like a low-budget video game from 1998. To them, a bright tiger doesn't look orange at all. It looks like a muddy greenish-brown blob, the same shade as every plant, tree, bush, and shadow. So to a deer, a tiger is basically just another oddly-shaped shrub, probably harmless. And the stripes? Those black lines slice up the tiger's outline so well that in tall grass or broken shadows, the deer starts eating a tiger because it thinks it is grass until the grass starts eating it back. Now imagine a deer with full trichromatic vision. It would feel like it just unlocked a cheat code called Spot the Murder Cat. Meanwhile, humans, with our fancy trichromatic eyes, see a glowing orange murder cat because evolution gave us good color vision for picking ripe fruits. Now imagine it from the tiger's perspective. A tiger sneaks through the jungle, perfectly camouflaged to every creature except one weird hairless primate staring at it like, oh look, a 400 pound murder cat. But to a person with dichromat vision or color blindness, the tiger would be perfectly camouflaged like to a deer. They wouldn't have the idea that tigers aren't brilliantly camouflaged to most humans. Fun fact, even tigers see each other as greenish brown. They're dichromats too. But why didn't evolution just make green tigers? Because mammals can't naturally make green pigment. We simply never evolved the biochemical tools for it. We can make orange fur, black stripes, and questionable life decisions, but not green. This is why we don't have green wolves, green lions, or a green bear blending into your lawn like a suspicious shrub.